Tamika, Sister Tamika, I want you to listen to something. I want you to listen to something according to God. You've been watching the news, right? You've been seeing the, okay, so you haven't. Do you know that uh, curfews have been set up in different parts of Georgia? What is that from? Why is that? Due to this pandemic. Due to this pandemic, right? What is, what is going on? Have you been watching the media? You've been, so what have you been seeing on the news? Because what comes straight out is heavy, mm -hmm. heavy, heavy. The scriptures ask, how should you be conducting yourself while you're seeing these things unfold on the earth today? What are you seeing on the news? Pretty much with it, uh, pandemic, I mean, shutting down of, you know, everything. And you, you know, God, by the way, I'm sorry. Uh, my name is Romero. Romero, Romero, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay, uh, you know, God is visiting the earth. God is visiting the earth. Hallelujah, all praises. Yes, he is. But the thing that we're bringing out was so heavy is, where did this epidemic or this mass plague come from? What were the roots of it? Where did it come from before all this started? The roots of the, the disease itself? The Wuhan so-called, the so-called Wuhan virus. Where did it come from? Japan. From where? Japan. Or Asia, uh, right? Asia. Or China. Or China. China, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So okay. everything that we've been bringing out from Deuteronomy 28, the curses that plague our people on a daily basis, us going into cargo slave ships, them giving us another God, all this is prophecy that Moses told the children of Israel what happened. Now, wait a minute. We got Passover coming up. You know, Do you understand there will be another exodus from so-called Egypt? You know, America is spiritual Egypt and Babylon. Right. Right. The same things that took place in Egypt are also happening here in America. They right. right. follow the same customs, the same religions, the same doctrines, the same things Pharaoh pushed. But trust and believe, you're looking at the modern day Moseses today. That's right. 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 The Most High God is going to get us away from our captives. But let's read. Let's see if the Bible's a true book. Start at verse 1. Listen close, listen close. We're going to take our time. Here you're coming back. Read what you got. Read it strong. The book of 2nd Esther, chapter 16, verse 1. Read it out. Whoa, 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 whoa. W-O-E means destruction. That's right. Thus saith the Lord. Read it again. Whoa be unto thee. Babylon, this today is spiritual Babylon. During the time of Ezra and upwards to today, we are living in spiritual Babylon. What took place in Babylon the Great? What took place in Babylon? All sorts of doctrines, all sorts of idol worship. Today is also modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. What's taking place in Atlanta, Georgia today? Changing of kind. That's right. Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. Men acting like women and women acting like men. Right. Read on. Woe be unto thee, Babylon, uh -huh. and Asia, and who? Asia, Asia, the so-called Chinese, the so-called Japanese, their biblical names, because everybody, understand, there's 18 nations in the Bible. You won't find Japanese in the Bible. Right. You won't find Korean in the Bible. Right. You damn sure won't find African American in the Bible. Right. You got to know what God calls you. Their biblical name is Moab. The Japanese biblical name is Ammon. Jesus. Right. God says destruction unto Asia. But what kind of destruction is coming to Asia? Read on. Woe be unto thee, Egypt uh -huh. and Syria. Gird up yourselves. It said, gird up yourselves. Come on. With cloths uh -huh. of sack and hair. Damn. Gird up yourself with cloths of damn sack. Something destructive is coming your way. Go ahead. Bewail your children. You better bewail your children. Come on. And be sorry. And you better be sorry. Why? Because all these nations have their hands in the destruction, the captivity, and the greediness that they've uh, uh, placed upon our people, of uh, uh, the children of Israel. They right. all have their hand in our destruction That's right. and our captivity. Right. Read on. And be sorry. And be sorry. For your destruction is at hand. Wait a minute. God said the destruction is at hand for the so-called Chinese man. Right. Right. The so-called white man's destruction is titled in the book of Obadiah. That's right. But your pastors, T.D. and Creflo, they'll never read Obadiah. They will never go to the book of Obadiah because it tells you the destruction of Esau. Right. That's the biblical name for the so-called white man, the caucus. 
Those from the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. Right. God calls them Idumians. Right. They are Edomites. Right. Go ahead. A sword is sent upon you. The Most High God has sent a sword amongst the Asians. Come on. And who may turn it back? You can't stop the destruction of the Most High God. Yes, right. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. The God of the 12 tribes and none else. Thus says the Bible. Right. Yes, right. Read on. A fire is sent among you. God said, I sent a fire among you. Come on. And who may quench it? Who's going to stop this fire? Can nobody save them from the destructive hand of the Heavenly Father? Yes. Read on. Plagues. What? Plagues. What? Plague, the Wuhan virus is a plague yes. sent from the Lord. Yes, right. You can say, oh, the white man did it, but remember, the Most High God controls everything. Yes. Life and death. Read on. Please are sent unto you. Uh -huh. And what is he that may drive them away? Can't nobody stop this plague. Last week, I just read there was over 2,200 deaths alone in China. Right. You cannot stop this thing. There's nothing to stop. You can't even stand six damn feet away from somebody without them getting the plague of the Wuhan. Right. Or COVID-19, classified by your oppressor Esau. Donald Trump's behind got COVID-19. Right. You can't stop the plagues of the Lord. Right. Read on. May any man drive away and hungry lion. Can you stop a hungry lion that's out there ready to devour and kill? In like matter, you cannot stop the judgment of the Lord on these other nations. Yes, right. You sit back and look at the Most High destroying these other nations. Jump down now to verse 14. Come on. Verse 14. Uh -huh. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again. So once the Most High God sent these things forth, it will not return back to him. Right. What he willed will come to pass. Yes, right. Read on. Until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled uh -huh. and shall not be put out. We just read that. You can't stop this destructional force from the Heavenly Father. It's spiritual. Read on. Till it consume the foundation of the earth. Jump down to verse 20 now. Verse 20. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. This is going into the so-called Hispanics. Blacks and Native Americans. You brothers and sisters are seeing the things take place on TV. No difference than we saw all the great destruction that took place upon Pharaoh. We came out of Egypt and were still down rebellious when Moses went out to Mount Sinai. Right. Right. Now it's happening again and our brothers and sisters are still rebellious and won't come back to the laws of God. Right. God said no harm shall befall thee as long as you keep my law. Yes, right. We're not saying I just love you. We're not worried about COVID-19 because we know this thing is of the Lord. Right. We're not worried about that. Read on. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. This is also going into the other nations. Why? Go ahead. Nor be always mindful of the scourges. And they're not even mindful of the, the behind whooping, the spiritual behind whooping that the Most High God is giving them. Read on. Behold, victuals shall be so good and cheap upon earth. Wait a minute. If you look around, Walmart is sold out. Right. Gas is a damn dollar 28 cents a gallon. Right. You, know, you can go anywhere right now. Things is on sale. You ain't got no more tissue. You ain't even got no damn more Kool-Aid packets. Right. Y'all can't even run two Kool-Aid packets together. Right. Y'all you know, have nothing. You have to go to your presser for everything. Brothers and sisters are rationing out damn toilet paper to wipe their behind. Right. Oh. Read on. Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon the earth. Why? These other nations are making a killing right now off of y'all. That's right. These stores are making a killing. The gas stations are making a killing off of you guys right now. Read that they shall think themselves to be in good case. You see that? The man with his hand behind this, your oppressor, feels they're, they're still good. Yeah, Wuhan is going around, COVID-19 is going around, but man, we making a damn killing off these niggas out here. Bring it out. Tissue, uh, 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 a hand sanitizer. You got hand sanitizer for damn $10 for a mini travel size bottle now. These other nations are making a killing off of you, brothers and sisters. But this is all of the Lord. Go ahead. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. You're seeing that right now. COVID-19 and this talk about everything that the Lord has sent. You got Trump just recently bombed, what was that, Iraq? Iran. 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 
None of y'all know about that because why? You're too focused on the plays that the Most High sent against him. Right. The Most High God, he's a genius. It's us who's asleep. So it's high time we come back and understand that we are God's chosen people. Let's get some more. Read on. And even then shall evils grow up on the earth, uh -huh. sword, famine, and great confusion. You got great confusion right now. You got brothers and sisters walking around, don't have a lick of sense of what the hell to do. Right, right. right. Point blank and period. You can't even walk down your damn block. Fulton County is on lockdown. If you come outside of Fulton County, you're black behind going to jail. Yes, right. But Bring wait a minute, out. I thought we were all free. Bring it out. I thought we were all free. You ain't free. You're just contained. Right, right. You're rocked to sleep out here on Broad in Alabama. Right. Jump over a chapter now to chapter 15. I want to get back on, on, on what we were speaking about. Chapter 15, verse 45. Read that. I'm going to give it back to Officer Yuri. Come on. Second Esther, chapter 15, verse 45. Bring it out. And they that remain under her shall do service unto them that have put her in fear. Verse 46. And thou, Asia, God is saying it again. We got a whole other chapter. God keeps going back to the so-called Chinese man. Thou, Asia, come on. And thou, Asia, that art partaker of the hope of Babylon. Every time you look around on the back of your shirts, made in Iowa, uh, Taiwan, made in Korea, made in Asia, the Chinese are big time partakers of America. A lot of trade happens between America and China. Right. Brother, and people walk around and say Asia will be the next world superpower. But I'm sad to say, the most is dealing with Asia right now. Right. You know when you see a fireworks show, there's always the grand finale? The most High has the white man as the grand finale. Yes, right. Asia's getting this just due right now. All yes, praise. Right. Read on. That are partakers of hope of Babylon. The hope, the greed, the wealth of Babylon. They are partakers. Go ahead. And are the glory of her person. And are the glory of her person. Come on. Woe be unto thee, thou wretch. Dang. The Most High God says, destruction again be unto you, you wretched race of people. Right, right. They eat everything. From the rooter to the tutor on the pig, Things that you couldn't even dream of. The Most High actually calls them a wash pot. Yes, according to the scriptures. We can prove that next. Everything is in the Bible. A wash pot. Meaning, you ever seen a wash pot? Yeah, the, the, all, the, all, the, all, all the just nastiness sits at that. It's, the Most High God calls them a wash pot. They're base. Go ahead. Woe be unto thee, thou wretch, uh -huh. because thou hast made thyself like unto her. That's where you get that, oh, Asia will be the next world superpower. When you go to Asia, you see these men walking around with ties. That's a European custom. They're supposed to be wearing a geese, a gi uh, 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 what's that, the uh, geisha. They're supposed to be as geishas with their own apparel, the Chinese collar. But no, when you go to their business areas, it's suit and ties. That's a European custom. Right. right. Read on. And has decked thy daughters in whoredom. Their geishas, go ahead. Because now, there is no clothing up of the geisha. They walk around looking like uh, uh, Biff and Sally in them. Right. right. Chests all out with cleavage and they behind showing. Right. Read on. That they might please and glory in thy lovers, which have always desired to commit whoredom. You see that? That they make glory with their lovers. America commits Big whoredoms. Right. Everywhere America sets their foot in, they defile every. The so called white man is a freaking parasite. Yes, right. And he looks for hosts. Each of these other nations, every time he comes in, he brings his mentality, he brings his religion, Bring he brings his culture, right. and it defiles the people of that land. That's right. So if it defiles those people of the land, how much more has he defiled his captors, the right. nation of Israel? We walk around with their damn blonde hair in our heads. We are crazy as damn hell, man. Read. Which have always desired to commit boredom with thee. Thou hast followed her that is hated in all her works. The Most High God, and just to say, the Most High God says, you have followed her who is hated in all her works. The her is speaking about America. Babylon the Great. 
the so-called white man. There is no repentance for the white man according to the Bible. Yes, there right. is no repentance for Esau according to the Bible. Right. We're going to bring thus saith the Lord. We're not going to bring the things that the theology school teaches these black pastors. The League of Churches teaches these black pastors. We today as a, as a nation of people, we don't own the theology schools. Remember the curses, we have to go to them in the one of all things. Right. The same thing that took place with the pastors on these plantations, where they were set slave master Jim Bob up in the back to make sure that the pastor down there teaching the slaves right. would not come outside of the body or, or go straight away and start breaking down the truth that Christ is a black man and only came for the 12 tribes. It's happening today. But you know how it's happening today? Through the League of Churches that finance these churches, they'll come in and sit down to hear your sermon to make sure you're not going outside, and they'll cut you that fat check. You got all these churches all throughout Atlanta, and the block still looks like a damn cemetery, man. It's yeah. dead. Ain't no change. One second. Read. Thou hast followed her that is hated in all her works and inventions. Uh -huh. And inventions. Damn. Margaret Sanger Planned Parenthood was an invention. Right. Which actually they took the customs from the Babylonians and, and child sacrifice. So now today you abort your child. Where's that at in the Bible? Why is there a Planned Parenthood all through the hood but not in the white areas? Because they deal craftily with the children of Israel. Bring it out. Wait a whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't Pharaoh do the same thing? And try to have Shifra and Pua get rid of all the male childs but keep the, the, the women? Right. That's dealing craftily with the children of Israel. Right. Bring it out. There's nothing new under the sun. Teach. Everything is repeating itself. Unless they multiply. Unless they multiply. You gotta wonder why all of a sudden, since this virus came out, why the hell is my mailbox filling up for 2020 with the census? Bring it out. Right. Bring it out. All of a sudden, I've never seen no mail letter with the census. T -shot. But you gotta understand the children of Israel like the sand of the sea. We cannot be numbered. Yes, right. right. We don't die, we what, brothers? Multiply. Read on. Come on. Therefore, say God. The most high God is very clear. There ain't no confusion here. For those that understand, you understand it. For those that missed it, Lords, will you understand? Right. Read on. I will send plagues upon thee, uh -huh. widowhood. So you got men and women in China losing wives. You got wives losing husbands. Read on. Poverty, famine, poverty, famine. These things are taking place throughout the earth. But here in America, you know, we overlook that. We got it good. We got it good. But meanwhile, outside the box, they got it bad. Bring it out. There's poverty here too as well. Read. Swore, swore, that's war. Go ahead. And pestilence. And pestilence. You got the sword. Do you not know that China and now Iran are saying that, you know what? The United States dropped that Wuhan virus on me. They're coming together. Right. Remember, all these, all these other nations outside the United States of America will come to the understanding that this man is the damn devil. Yes, that's right. right. It's already happened. You got the European Union done split up. Oh, that's Bible prophecy. Bring it out. Read on. To waste thy houses with destruction uh -huh. and death. Now, brothers and sisters, see that thing? This is Bible prophecy. The Most High God is judging the nations right now. Right. That's right. Judgment happened way on the other side of the planet, and now it's over here in Babylon. You can't make this stuff up. The Most High God is a genius. Yes. That's right. right. That's why we tell you, brothers and sisters, get yourselves right. These are the last days, and it's only going to increase, intensify. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.